Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today again for another card making tutorial. The last couple of weeks I believe I did share with you how you can make your own greeting card and today I am going to be showing you how you can add your sentiments to your cards using your printer and your computer. That's provided that you do have that. So um, what you can do is a couple of things. One option is you could just do a 5 by 7 on your computer, tap the words in, and you can print it out, and you can paste it on the right side of your card when you are done. Or you can um, create the card size that you're looking for on your, um, on your computer in Microsoft Word, and then go ahead and get that printed out and I will show you how to do that one. So with that said, again, gentle reminder, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. If there's anything else you want me to go over next week or anytime, I will be happy to do so. But for now, let's go ahead and dive right in. So I am using Windows 10. On Windows 10, we are going to go to Wind, um, uh, Windows is a Word, actually. Yes, we're going to go to Microsoft Word, and we're going to do a blank document, okay? Now, I am going to just scoot this back a little bit, just so that you can kind of see a little more. Hopefully, it's um, you can see a little clearer here. I do apologize. I'm just trying to get the this, this screen because I need you to see the top. Okay. So here we have a blank document. Now, this document, we don't know what's the size. We're assuming it's just a regular um, paper size, but we want to be able to use it to print our sentiments and, of course, get them onto our cards. Now, what we will do is... To the upper left, we have a couple of tabs. There's File, Home, Insert, Design, Layout, and there's References and all other ones, but we're going to be between Home, Insert, and Layout. Again, Home, Insert, and Layout. So with our blank document, the first thing we're going to do is to do the layout, okay? Again, the layout is the first place you're going to go once you have your blank document up. And I'm going to go ahead and um, list that in the um, comments below for you. In that way, you will be able to have a guide. So, we're in layout right now. Under layout, we have your margin, we have the orientation, we have the size, we have the columns, okay? So the first thing we, I'm going to do is the margins. Usually, I personally use the narrow margins, which would say 0 0.5 all around. And that's what we're going to do. So right away, you see this area here has changed. It has narrowed up a little bit. So we have our margin set. We're going to go to our orientation. We're not going to leave it on portrait. We're going to go to landscape. So again, from your blank document, you go to layout first, okay? So now that we have our orientation, we're going to do our size, okay? Now, what I normally do is I will leave it here for now, which is the um, 8.5 by 11 scale, just for now. Um, and then, of course, we will proceed. So let's leave it at that. Now we want columns. Remember we're doing a card, so we need to have two sides, basically. We need to have the right inner side to type or print what we need, and that's what we're going to do. So we need two columns. We're going to the, go to the column section. We're going to do this, and we're going to go to two columns, okay? Now, if you notice, when I did the two columns, now we have... A, like a sp um, the first half and then the second half, there is a space in between, okay? So that tells us that there is 
one column on the left and one on the right. Now, to go further, now that we have the layout done, we are going to go to insert. So now from the home page, we go to layout, and then now we're going to go to insert. Now, what are we going to insert? We're going to insert a line or a shape. So here is the shape. We're going to do a line, just a line. Now, with your mouse, you're going to hold your um the left side of your mouse down and you're just going to just drag it all the way down just drag it okay now this is just the basics i'm giving you but you will still have to tweak this on your own um simply because um i had to tweak mine for my printer and once you're able to get like depending on what printer you're using once you're able to get the the size and everything set up for yourself then you're able to hold it as a template moving forward okay now not because you have a template that means that every time you go printing is going to be exact you may still have to mess with it a little bit um, and do a test page first before you actually put it on your card so that is my suggestion okay now we have the line here now not only we don't just put it there and forget it. We need to center it. So now still on the um, insert page, we have the line. We're going to go over, way over, and there is another section here towards, if you can see it, that says, we're looking for a line. This is the alignment page. So we're going to align this center. So if you notice, the line did move when I aligned it center. So I'm going to move it again so you can see. Align. Center. So the line moves. Now, let me try align middle. It's the same thing. So basically, it's supposed to be aligned in the middle of your paper. Okay, so you have it in the middle of your paper. So you have a choice. You can, again, you could type on the, the left side of your paper. It depends on you if you want certain sentiments, you know, whatever you want. Or you can do it on this side, on the right side. However, with this one, you would have to add your text box. So we're going to go back to insert and then we're going to use text box. Now we're going to go all the way down to the bottom and we're going to do draw a text box. We're going to draw this text box here. Again, you're going to hold the left side of your mouse and you're going to drag that text box down. Okay. Now, what I normally try to do is I kind of try to get it a little like to look more parallel to my text box because that looks a lot more parallel than before. So you can type in here and then of course you can still write on this side as well. So, oh, well I didn't know that would happen but it looks like it will. So we're just going to undo. We're going to leave it right here. Then we're going to go ahead and, you know, type something there. Happy Valentine's Day. Now also we can put a text box on the other side as well. I'm going to go back and do draw text box. And I'm going to draw one and put it on this side as well. So in that way... If you're drawing anything um, or typing anything, let's see if it's going to... Okay, so it's going to stay on this side. So the best bet is in order for you to have um, typing on both sides of the inner side of the card, if you want, just go ahead and put text box on both sides. And again, I will list the steps for you as well. Now, once you have that, and when you're going to print 
um, your sentiment, this box here is going to actually be showing up in your um, when you print. Now you do not want it to be printed so you have to change the color. So what we're going to do, we're going to go back to home. Now under home, there is the shape format. You would go ahead and click shape format and then we have an area here that shows you options for shape fill, shape outline, shape effects. So you're going to use the shape outline and you're going to change that outline to white. Okay, so if you notice the text box here, this here is just a guide as to where you need to type in. Once you move your mouse away and click anywhere outside, hold on a second, let's do this. If you notice now it's gone. It's there. So if I click in here, there it is. If I click outside, it's not there. But it is just the guide. So when you're printing, you will not see the box. Likewise, for this line, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to shape format. And then for the line outline, you're going to use white. So there will be nothing here when you're printing. And you do the same thing for this text box. Shape outline would be white. So now you just have like a big old blank thing. But just when you're going to use it for future reference, click on each side. Okay, and then you can type your information in. So I'm going to try typing, um, say there, there was a, there was a lonely girl. Okay, so you have there was a lonely girl here. And then you go to this side and you put there was a lonely girl. Okay, now when you move aside, if you notice, now you have it on both sides. But again, you would be, you know, tweaking this. You would be either wanting to um, center it in that way. We have this section here, which would, you know, if you want to just highlight it. Again, it's if you tech savvy, of course, and you, you know these different things, you would want to center it here. Um, or, you know, likewise, this side, you do the same thing. You want to center it. You know, it just depends on, on what you want. This one is a little higher. You say, okay, well, I want to bring it down, you know, or something. I mean, I'm just, I'm just saying, just showing what you can do. You can also do the box so it lines up. So you see some more lining up. So again, you have to play around with it in order for you to really get the um what you want now i would recommend after you have done that do a test page so when you're going to do you go to file and you go to print okay so if you notice you just it looks blank but then you have again you took off the lines and put them white so they will not show up in your print okay so um Unfortunately, I just, uh, I ran out of ink, but, you know, you could always, you know, test yours as well. Let me see if, per chance, I'm able to do a test print with the little ink that's left. Okay, so, no, I would not be able to, but I'm sorry about that. But the whole idea is just to show you how you can do your sentiments at home on your card. So, you have your card, you do your test print, you put your words in. That's the middle of the card you're looking at. You, you run it through, everything looks good. Now, you're going to take your actual card that you're going to use and you're going to run it through so that you can have your sentiments printed, whether it's on both sides or just on the right side of your card. It's entirely up to you, okay? Now, if you want to do the other side of the card, um, which is the outside, you're going to be thinking, okay, so this side here would be the inside, and you need whatever you want to be on this side of the card when you're printing it out, right? So... Just imagine, okay, this is the inside. 
you're thinking, you say, okay, when the card is closed, which side should I have the sentiments on, right? So, I mean, not the sentiments, the, um, say the graphics or whatever you want, right? So what I do is I just simply do what I want after I have my sentiments in or I decide, okay, I want my graphics on there. I am going to put my graphics on this side, which is the right side. Because again, um, picture the card closed. If it's closed, you're going to be flipping to the left. So then you're going to want to have your graphics on the right. So these are just little things, but you know, just kind of play around with it, work with it. And when you're going to print your test page, leave it at the eight and a half by 11 or whatever it is, and then um, see if that works for you. Other than that, just go ahead and tweak and mess around with just that basic info that I've given you. And that should be able to help you, um, you know, work through and get what you need. So with that said, thank you so much for watching. And I do look forward to you guys letting me know how that worked out for you. If it was helpful, um, were you able to try it out and, you know, just give us a little snippet or a little snapshot of what you were able to achieve. So thank you so much again. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. See you next week, Sunday. Bye-bye.